Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Krista. I'm a homeschool mom of seven and today I'm going to be sharing with you what my 11th grader is doing for her curriculum this year. So stick around. So to start off, um, like I said, I'm a homeschool mom of seven. Our oldest just currently graduated this past um, school year, this past May, and he graduated a year early because he started a lot of his um, high school credits in eighth grade. He did um, none of his electives, of course, those didn't count, but his science and math, and there's something else he took. Um, I don't remember. I don't have his stuff in front of me. Anyway, he graduated a year early, so we've kind of been doing this thing for a while. My oldest two children were in kindergarten and first grade when I pulled them out, and we've been homeschooling all the way through. And so he has graduated, and um, now next up in line is my, what will be my 11th grader this year. And she, I'm sorry, I'm just looking through some of her stuff. She is also kind of ahead on a lot of her credits. And so she had kind of a heavy year in 10th grade just because of the co-op we were in um, and the classes that she was taking there. She took government economics and biology last year in our co-op. And so with everything else she had going on, she had a really heavy year in her ninth grade year she was very heavy in her um elective credit she knocked out a ton of her electives um online through florida virtual school in her ninth grade year and so she kind of has a year that is not as heavy as some high schoolers you might see anyway she will be finishing up her algebra one she started that um last year and is taking her time through it algebra is not her thing and that's okay girlfriend because it ain't my thing either so um she's taking her time with that and then she'll start algebra two which we do teaching textbooks and i have those on disc now her younger siblings are going to be doing the 4.0 so i might um switch hers to 4.0 also and do like the family plan because she'll have two younger siblings doing teaching textbooks this year that way that she can do it on her phone if we're out you know at appointments or a co-op or something that day and she wants to get that done while we're out she can so she'll be doing algebra 2 as soon as she finishes up her algebra 1 and my son that recently graduated has been um tutoring her some through algebra and so she'll be doing that. She'll also be doing chemistry, which our co-op did two years ago, and they aren't offering it um, anytime soon just because of the age range of the kids. And so I just uh, picked these up for my son last year. It was just some DVDs, Chemistry 101, and we watch it together. And um, there's a little workbook that goes along with it and to... Um, answer questions and make sure that they're understanding it. Now, if I thought one of my children were going to dive a little deeper into um, a career that involved chemistry, we would get something a little more in depth, um, but neither of them have shown any interest in careers that way. So we're just doing the basics of chemistry, which is, um, it's a four set DVD set. And it did take him, there were, I don't remember how many total. I don't have all the discs here. Um, I want to say there were like 24, 30 to 45 minute um, lessons. There. So she would be doing that. So chemistry, math, and then she will be doing American history through not grass, the exploring America. Um, my oldest son did this with part of this with my father's world and um he did enjoy it but i'm just gonna have her go through um part one and part two she loves to read so i don't think this is going to be hard for her and she loves american history so i don't think this will be hard for her to get through because my father's world splits these two textbooks into two different years so um and along with that so it comes with the part one part two textbooks and along with most of the not grass um, curriculum that my children have done so far, it also comes with some other kind of book. This is called American Voices, and it's the original document, speeches, poems, stories, and hymns from American history. And another one of their history books they did came with something similar to this, um, which it looks pretty interesting. So 
like Paul Revere's ride. And let's see what else is in here. Poems by Walt Whitman. And so it's just got a lot of interesting, very interesting stuff in there. And then I ordered her a fresh set of the student review book and the quiz and exam book to go along with that. Now in that, um, sorry, my nose is very itchy. So whatever has been blooming, it's been killing my allergies. But um, along in history, also counts as an English credit because they write a lot of papers. And she also does, oh, she didn't bring it to me. I asked her to bring me her stack of work. She also does daily grammar. There's two different ones we've switched between. And I think she's doing the daily grammar. Um, so she also does daily grammar just to keep her fresh on um, the, you know, grammar and writing skills and stuff. So, um, so she'll be doing that. That will count for her history and English, algebra two, chemistry. We are debating right now if she is going to join um, our church's uh, teen Bible quiz. Um, it just requires some out of the parents that I don't know that we are able to put in right now. So my husband and I have to discuss that, but that would count as a Bible credit, which she doesn't, or a elective half credit if she does that this year, which um, if she doesn't, she'll be fine because um, we do, we will do some kind of Bible study here at home, but she has a lot of elective credits. So um, for co-op this year, she will not be doing anything there and offering any classes that she has not already taken. They were doing physical science, which she did in eighth grade. Um, and then she also gets, does ag because she works with our animals, she works with neighbors' animals, and um, she also does horseback riding lessons and works, she worked over the summer at the horse farm that she did the horse riding lessons at, and she will be volunteering or uh, working with them some throughout the school year. Just, we're gonna get started with our school year and see how that will fit into our schedule. Now there are some books that go along with that. I have some of them, some are at the library, and a few I will have to watch on thrift books for, but to go along with the history, uh, The Scarlet Letter, In His Steps, which I actually read this a few years ago, it's a pretty good book. Um, Miracle in the Hills, I don't know what happened to the cover of that. The Giver, let's see what else. Um, Narrative of the Life of David Crockett, Narrative of the Life of Fred Frederick Douglass, which our library has that. Uncle Tom's Cabin, our library has Co-Och, it's spelled C-O dot A-Y-T-C-H. Our library has that. Humor, stories, and sketches. I think there's more to the, she didn't write the whole title to that one down. That's Humor, Stories, and Sketches of Somebody. I don't remember who. Up From Slavery, our library has Mama's Bank Account. I never could find that when my son did this one. So I will still be looking for that one. It may be an out of print book or an older book. So those go along with um, her history and English curriculum. Also this year, I'm gonna add in the story of the constitution because I think this is super important. Um, we started reading this as a family a few years ago and I think it's super important for everybody to dig into the Constitution and what it means and what each amendment means and who wrote it and their background and what they were trying to accomplish. And so I think it's important that every American knows the story of our American Constitution. I'm also having her read The Fallacy Detective this year, and we have another book, and I think we need to dig it out of our garage bins called It Couldn't Just Happen. Um, and so she will be reading those, and kind of we'll be going through those together um, because they have lessons. And I think those are also important um, things for high schoolers to learn. And so um, her senior year... I'm not sure how many more credits she will need, but I know that when we sat down and scheduled out her what she would need for her entire high school uh, career, it was a little heavier in ninth and 10th grade, and she did have a couple credits coming from eighth grade with some science and stuff. Um, so I know that that left her um, senior year a little flexible. So I told her I would like her to start looking into this year no by you know, Christmas time, 
so we can start looking into stuff um, come next spring, what she would like to take at the, um, see it's late afternoon and mama hadn't had her coffee yet. What she would like to take at the technical center or if she was leaning toward working with animals or something, um, in, in some sort of college. And so she's been very, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, kind of iffy. And I would like her to do something, um, during her senior year dual enrollment or um you know starting at the technical college you can also the tech center you can also do dual enroll in our county so i would like her to look into something like that for next year <clears throat> and then i would like to do a lot of um common sense kind of preparing young adult for the real world kind of classes um, for her if that's um, I've been wanting her to take the CPR class for a while and like the the big C word sickness that just went around for the last several years kind of put a damper on some of those classes and stuff but I would like her to take CPR um, I would like her to find a cooking class somewhere to take I would just like to prepare them more my um, seniors and my graduates and high schoolers whatever you want to call them for the real world and um, running a household, whether she's gonna go into her career or she's gonna be a stay-at-home mom, she will still need a lot of these skills. That's why we did. I made sure both of mine went through consumer mathematics through high school where they learn to balance checkbooks. They understand the um, stock market. They understand buying a house, buying a car, saving money, um, what all, you know, comparing prices in stores and um, we did a great consumer mathematics class that they both have already taken. Um, they found it a little dry and boring, but you know what? They will look back on those skills and know how to do all of those things. So that is pretty much it. I think if I left anything out, I will try to add it to this video, but she loves to read. So she's always constantly reading. Every time we go to the library, she comes with a big stack of books to check out. Um, and so I think that's going to be what she will be doing this year besides, you know, turning 16 this week, enjoying her friends, enjoying a little vacation we're going on. And, um, she is involved also in our church. She helps with children's church. Um, she has, um, said she's maybe interested in helping out in the nursery when she turns 16. And what else, what's I going to say she does? She's volunteered with our junior Bible quiz for the younger kids for the last several years. So she, if we decide to do that as a family, she'll probably join in on that and so my kids are always busy and always doing something and going somewhere and something going on and so I'm sure you homeschool mamas can relate but if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stick around and thanks for watching we'll see you soon bye bye